the loans you want, you guys went through the pricing, you saw some good notes, and it's time to make a bid. You make your bid, the seller says congratulations, you won. Here's the NSA, PSA. What does it stand for? Note seller agreement, purchase seller agreement. Great, great. You have 48 hours. So tomorrow is a closing day. The next day is funding day. No transactions are done within 72 hours. You get the loan sell agreement. You get a day to review it. The next day is the closing date. You sign, you send it back. The day after that, you got to fund. If you go that far and get the loan sell agreement and you don't close, you did your due diligence already. So the only reason you won't close is if it's something in the contract you won't like. So when you review the contract, you're going to look at Reps and warrants or terms and conditions. The seller asserts that all loan files have original copy of original mortgage or deed of trust and assignments. In the event, if any of the physical file is incomplete and prevents the buyer from filing the assignment of mortgage or prevents the buyer from properly servicing the note, the buyer may seek remedy. Seller warranty warrants the truth and accuracy of all loan information, including loans listed in Exhibit A. It's going to be all your loans that you're buying, UPB, and everything else. Seller also warrants the accuracy of outstanding principal balance listed, right, in Exhibit A, and accrued interest of loans as of the closing date. Buyer will have 15 days after the closing date to verify all the accuracy of information. Very important. Usually what it says is buyer has 15 days. You want to make sure it says after the closing date. Because if it takes me two months to get my collateral, how do I know it's missing? Right? you got to watch that. Buyer has 15 days after you sign this document to get those reps and warrants. A well, seller has to identify in Exhibit A any loans in bankruptcy. Sometimes the bankruptcy is not on the credit. So if I get a credit report and I look through it and it's not on the credit, I'm going to basically put in A. Or Just because it's a loan is in bankruptcy, um, does it change the price point? It doesn't, right? It's, it it kind of does a little bit. It all depends if it's negative equity. If it's a negative equity loan, is it could be possibly stripped, then they change pricing. Because now, if I'm only going to get 15 to 20 cents, I'm not going to pay more than 20 cents on this loan, because that's all I can get back of the payoff. Right? So I might want to pay less. Right? If it's high equity, then it's, you know, it's fair game. It's, you can take the property, you can do the same thing, you just can't go after the borrower for the debt. The buyer will have 15 days after the closing date to identify any additional loans that are in bankruptcy and any loans where the foreclosure process has begun. For loans identified in bankruptcy or in foreclosure, the buyer may seek remedy. So if I'm selling you something that said it's performing, what this is saying is you have 15 days after the loan sale agreement, not when you get your collateral, 15 days after the agreement is signed to do further due diligence to find out if anything is in bankruptcy.